This program is brought to you by Ignite TV. Now you're in command. Visit rogers.com for more details. Welcome to another episode of A Little Bit Fit with me, Karen Ross. Today you are going to need weights or soup cans and water oh, and your chair with no arms. That's it. That's all. Before we get into our workout, we're going to talk about our fit tip. And today it's know your numbers. Well, what the heck does that mean? A lot of people that I work with and speak to, the, for one of the first things they say to me is, hey, I need to lose 50 pounds. And my heart breaks right there and then because it's like, mm, you probably don't need to lose 50 pounds. What you need to do is decrease your, your body fat percentage and increase your lean muscle tissue. What does that mean? Well, it means your scale only tells you your gravitational pull on planet Earth. It does not tell you what you are made of. And that is what's more important than your gravitational pull on planet Earth. What are the numbers that matter? Your body fat percentage, right? You need to decrease body fat percentage. If you have a lot of fluff like I do, you need to decrease your, your body fat percentage. You need to increase your lean muscle tissue. You're not going to see a lot of change in the numbers on the scale, really. Um, what about your internal numbers, your blood sugar levels? That's important, right? So keep an eye on those. Your bad and good cholesterol, those are important numbers. So keep an eye on those. Your blood oxygen levels, how much oxygen you're able to carry in your blood those are important numbers. Ask your doctor to check those for you. Your resting heart rate, that's important. Normal-ish resting heart rate is about 70 beats per minute. And blood pressure, those are the important numbers. 120 over 80, normal blood pressure. So keep an eye on those numbers and stop obsessing about the numbers on the scale, right? It's what you're made of, not how much it weighs that's what's important. So know your numbers. So let's grab our weights and our water and I will meet you over here in a few seconds. Okay, let's get moving. Let's warm it up. Nice and simple. Heel taps forward. Open and close those fingers. Remind your body to breathe as your heart rate goes up. As soon as you start to move, your heart rate starts to go up. Breathe. I feel like I need the top hat and tails. Tap it out to the side. with those arms just move and breathe and you're doing this right open and close those fingers this music has such attitude I love it Tent your Betty Boop. Reach. Reach. Open and close those fingers. Little knee lift. Or you can toe tap. 
Whatever works for you, just move and breathe. How about some kicks? Or heel tap, whatever works for you. Opposites. Back out to the side. Oh, we're taking it up a notch. Little march. Quick kicks. Add those arms, whatever you want to do. Heel, toe, heel, heel, toe, heel. Breathe. Fix. Or tap. Whatever works for you. Reach it up. Thumbs. Thumbs over here. Just move. And breathe. Just move. Heel toe. Ready to switch. And switch. And switch. Little sway side to side. Get the middle of your body moving. Whatever your range of motion is, go with it. Down, palms up. Play.
Breathe. We're going to start bringing it down. Smaller. You can't go wrong with the sway. Slower. Bringing your heart rate down. Just go with the music. Breathe. Bringing it all down. And all the way down. Nicely done. It is time to get your weights or your soup cans. Please hydrate. I will practice what I preach and I will see you back here for strength training in two seconds. Okay, now that our cardio is finished and we've hydrated, right? Let's grab our weights or our soup cans. I'm going to grab my soup cans to start just to show you that it doesn't matter. You don't have to spend a lot of money. Grab some soup cans out of your pantry and let's go. All right, we are going to start again with a compound movement. I love those compound movements. And engage your core. Pretend you've got a big wide belt on that goes all the way around your body. You're going to pull it in, cinch it in, and you're going to sit up nice and tall. So the first one we're going to do, we're going to lift out to the side, and then we're going to bring the soup cans to the front, and then we're going to touch the top of our legs with some. Get your soup can. So here we go. You don't want to lift any higher than your chest. Bring it to the front. Again, chest height. Bring it down. Don't quite touch your knees. Bring it back up. Out to the side. And down we go. Make sure you're sitting solidly in your chair. Up tall. Lift. Bring it to the front. Stay shoulder width apart. Bring it down. Don't quite touch your knees. Up we go, out, and bring it down. Each movement is its own. So we lift it, little pause. Bring it to the front, little pause. Take it down, little pause. Up we go, little pause here. Back out, and then down. Few more, lift it. Bring it to the front. Don't touch your knees. Up we go. Back out and back down. Double check that your belt is still tight. Pull your tummy in, sit up tall. Breathe. Remember, nothing should hurt. If things hurt, you put your soup cans or your weights down and you do this with no weight at all. Lift it. Bring it in, drop it down, up we go, out and down. We're going to do two more. Lift, in, down, up, out and down. Last one, lift, bring it to the front, drop it down. Lift it up, out to the side, and back down. Nicely done. Just recover here. Let your soup can swing. Ah, sit up tall and breathe. Breathe. All right, we're going to move to our next exercise. It's a very simple side bend, but you have to check your form and make sure that you're actually doing what you think you're doing. So I've got my soup cans. I'm going to drop my hands down to the side. And what we want to do is we want to make this space from our armpit to our hip bone very small. So we're going to squeeze it shut as we do a little lean over. It's not so much of a lean over, but we're going to make this space small by contracting the oblique in the side of the body. Over we go and stand back up and squeeze it shut and sit tall. Squeeze it shut 
and sit tall. So you're contracting the muscle in the side of the body, making that space between your armpit and your hip bone very small. And you can hear that I'm literally squeezing that muscle so hard that I'm exhaling. I have no choice but to exhale there. Squeeze it. There we go. And just let your arms hang down. Make sure that your head goes with it. You don't want to do this. Keep your neck aligned with your spine all the time. Squeeze that space shot. We're going to do one more on this side. Ah, release your core. Rock side to side. If you listen to your body, it will tell you exactly what it wants. Mine's telling me to rock side to side to release tension here. All right, let's set up, tighten that wide belt, sitting solidly in your chair. Make sure your feet are well in front. You should be able to see your toes. Ready, spine tall, squeeze it shut. Squeeze that space closed. Squeeze. Over we go. And as you can see, I'm not leaning over as much as I'm making that space in the small or the side of my body smaller. Squeeze. And it just makes sense to breathe out right here and breathe in when you come back up to tall. Breathe out. Breathe in. Remind your body to breathe. Muscles need oxygen to keep working. So if you're holding your breath, they're going to quit. Lean it over. Over we go. We're going to do three more. That's three, two, last one. Over we go. And release your core and just swing your soup cans. Ah. <sighs> All right, we have one more to do, but there's add-ons to this one. So I'm going to show you with just the soup cans and then I'm gonna add my leg to it. So you wanna to come to the front of your chair. This is called cat cow. So we're going to make a cat back toward the back of our chair and then we're going to push our chest forward. So it looks like this. Bring your weights to the front, make that round spine toward the back of your chair and then you're gonna push your weights behind you. Round your spine, bring the weights to the front, pull your tummy way in and sit up tall. So you're rolling to the front of your chair, rolling to the back of your chair, front of your chair, pushing your arms behind you. And we're going to pause right here. I'm going to show you how to make it harder. So as we come forward, you lift a leg. Come back to here, alternate, lift the other leg. Come back to here. And into cow. One more on each side here and here, last one. And there we have it. A little bit of recovery, a little bit of recovery. So we are going to put our soup cans, our weights down, hydrate, and I will see you back here in two seconds for our stretch. Okay, now that we've hydrated, we've done our cardio, we've done our strength, it is time to stretch a few really simple stretches. Please try to incorporate stretching into your everyday routine, whether you've worked out or not. Stretching is really important. We are going to start with our hip flexor. This muscle right here gets very tight because we sit for far too long every day. So I'm gonna turn sideways in my chair. Please hang on to the back of your chair and this side of my rear end is off of my chair. I'm going to hinge forward. I'm going to reach behind. Make sure that your toes and the ball of your foot are on the floor. Keep this space closed for now. I'm going to start coming up. 
very slowly. As I do that, I drop my knee to the floor a little bit. So I'm stretching from my hip bone to the top of my leg and down through the quad. Do we want it to hurt? Absolutely not, ever. Up tall. Breathe, because how long does it take for a stretch? 30 seconds. Breathe, be patient. Be patient, allow the stretch to happen. Don't rush through it. Breathe. If you find it difficult to do this from a low chair, sit on something higher. You just wanna to try to get your knee behind your hip a wee bit. I'm gonna bring it forward. I'm gonna close that space. Hang on to your chair. Bring your feet back together. Everything turns together. You don't wanna to torque your lower back. Take your time moving in and out of stretches. Hanging onto my chair. Leaning forward. And this is where I start to come up. Very, very slowly. Why am I going slow? Because if I feel pain, I'm stopping. I just want to feel tension. I never want to feel pain. Breathe. I feel tension in my quad and I feel tension in the hip flexor. I do not feel pain. Up tall, looking straight forward. Breathe. Let that 30 seconds tick by. Breathe. And we're gonna come forward very slowly. Hang on to your chair and bring that foot home. We're gonna turn sideways or front ways, pardon me. We forget about the wrists and the forearms. Really important that we stretch them out as well. They work hard all day. Your hands are doing things all day long. I want you to bring your hand forward like a stop sign. Make sure your arm is straight. You're going to support all of your finger joints with the other hand, the palm of the other hand. I'm going to pull back on my fingers, but I've supported all of my finger joints. I want to feel a stretch here and here. Breathe. Keep your arm as straight as you can, pushing into the palm of the supporting hand. Glue in my thumb so you can see it. Breathe. And we're going to release. Point your fingers down, pushing on the back of your hand only. Don't push on your finger joints this time. Push until you feel a stretch in the top of the wrist and the top of the forearm. Breathe. We forget about the little muscles of the body. They need attention too. They need to be stretched out. Breathe and release. Let's do the other side. Extend, support. I'm pushing with my straight arm and pulling with my supporting arm. Breathe, support all of your finger joints. Stretching the bottom of my wrist, bottom of my forearm. Breathe. 30 seconds seems like a long time, I know, but it's really necessary. And release, fingers down, push on the back of your hand, only, not your finger joints. Keep your arm as straight as you can until you feel that stretch in the top of the wrist, top of the forearm. I'm sitting up nice and tall because I want to breathe all the way into the bottom of my lung. And release this next one shift back on your chair a little bit and you're gonna open your feet we're going to drop our torso in between our knees and we're gonna release the mid and lower back if you need to glance up every now and again to see what I'm doing please do so but then look down at the floor again okay so we're gonna start by rounding our spine and relaxing our arms so we're making that cat back toward the back of our chair. We're going to take our forearms 
and we're going to put them on the tops of our legs. We're looking down at the floor. Look down at the floor. Put your hands underneath your knees and you're going to slide down your shins to your ankles. Tuck your chin to your chest here. You can feel the mid and lower back starting to release. Please breathe. And if you choose, you can dangle your fingers toward the floor. And let's come back up. Breathe. We need to get the blood back to our brain. So breathe. Wiggle, walk your feet back together. Neck. Tip your head, your ear towards your shoulder and open up through the side of the neck. Never pull on your head. Keep looking straight forward. And come back up to tall. Let's do the other side. Keeping the ear toward the shoulder. Opening this side of the neck. come back up to tall and we're gonna drop our chin to our chest and push our face toward the floor let your arms relax and come back up to tall and take a big breath in and shoulders press down as you breathe out and there we have it so Put your, uh, grab your water, have a sip of water, and I will see you in two seconds. And there we have it for another day. Great work, everyone. You should be really, really proud of yourself. You worked hard. Go hydrate. We're going to recap our fit tip of today. Remember, know your numbers. All the numbers on the scale tell you is your gravitational pull on planet Earth. That's really not important. The numbers that are more important is how much body fat percentage you have, how much lean muscle tissue you have, your blood sugar levels, your internal numbers, your blood sugar. What does that look like? Good, bad cholesterol. You want the bad cholesterol numbers to be very low. You want the good cholesterol numbers to be higher. Your, how much oxygen do you carry in your blood? Those are the numbers that matter. Resting heart rate, 70-ish. Blood pressure, 120 over 80. So don't get hung up on the numbers on the scale. So I want to thank you again for joining me here. And remember, knowledge is power. And the more you know, the more you can grow. Thank you again. See you next time. the rogers tv viewer response line email us or connect with us on social media it isn't the heavy trays that make the job difficult or the fast pace you need to keep up it's not working another double because someone called in sick what makes the job tough is the moment you realize a customer has had enough and you have to make that decision not to overserve. Refusing service isn't personal, it's the law. We know it's not easy, but we're counting on you.